It is 25 days of touchdowns, day number 14, scoring a touchdown with five players that wear the number 14 jersey. So it is day number 14, Stefan Diggs Day, our premium player of the episode. That will be our final touchdown. If we do not get Stefan Diggs and the Buffalo Bills on the wheel, guaranteed we're using Diggs for a sideline touchdown. Unbelievable. But now we need our first player of this episode. It's going to be Bears or Jets. Who are we going to get? The Chicago Bears. Number 14 for the Chicago Bears is Nathan Peterman. We are going to be using Peterman in 25 days of touchdowns for it looks like a 38-yard touchdown to get us started. This is the lowest overall I've ever seen in Madden. A 49 overall, and this is at his primary position, obviously. Nathan Peterman is a 49 overall. I don't think I've ever seen an overall that low in a Madden game before. 77 speed. Five years of experience. Throw power is probably not good whatsoever. 78. Accuracy is horrible. Should be interesting. Okay, Nathan Peterman. You're back in the starting spot right here. And we're going to chase Claypool one-on-one. -on -one. Claypool, if he goes up and he stays on his feet right there, he is gone one-on-one. -on -one. I had to take the shot because Peterman is not going to throw very accurate footballs. And the pressure looks like it's going to be coming in hot from the Colts. Let me know in the comments, though. Have you ever seen a Madden overall lower than a 49 overall? Because I actually have not seen it for what I can remember. That was actually a pretty decent ball, though, by Peterman. I can't lie. That was a pretty accurate ball. Pressure was coming in right there. Let's see if he can do that again. I actually have R1, I think, open underneath. But I just get sacked right there. That is crazy. 49 overall. That is insulting. That really is insulting. And we get picked. Over a minute in with Nathan Peterman. He has a little bit of a step. If we just had some time right there, maybe we're able to get it to Claypool. I'm going to try that a couple more times. Then we'll go back to the normal play. We got a prevent look. That's not good. But still, he is one-on-one. -on -one. Peterman. Oh, Claypool. Oh, we had it. That would have been an insane catch if it was not for the other defender being there to knock him out of bounds. I'm pretty sure Claypool had that. Possession catch. Chase Claypool. Nathan Peterman. Those were throws better than a 49 overall. Even though they're just go balls, he put it in the perfect spot right there. I'm trying to get to the replay. Why will it not let me get there? Thank you. Nathan Peterman. A little bit of a step right there for Claypool. Perfect placement, though. Perfect placement, pretty much. Good catch. Never mind. I am a liar. They do not have a number 14 on their active roster right now, so we do need another NFL team. And it's going to be the Arizona Cardinals. From a 49 overall quarterback to now a punter, we have to score a touchdown with Andy Lee of the Arizona Cardinals. And it's going to have to be a 50-yard touchdown with a punter. I don't know how we're going to pull off a 50-yard touchdown with Andy Lee. He has 64 speed. As soon as I make him a wide receiver, he's going to have a 12 overall. And then his route running. What's his route running look like? Did I pass it? I think I passed his route running, but it's not going to be good. I can tell you that. Yeah, his route running for the most part, 15 across the board. He has 20 catching. It's going to be brutal. I truthfully have no clue how we're going to pull this off. Look how slow he is. And more Sean Lattimore is on this guy. How am I possibly ever going to score a touchdown with Andy Lee? With Marshawn Lattimore. In Get over here! And this Saints D-line is having none of it, too. This is going to be an absolute mess with Andy Lee. The pressure... He actually made a catch, though, and a possession catch, so I'll take that. The pressure, the ability for him to actually get open, and the ability for him to actually get 50 yards downfield for a touchdown. Because even if he catches the ball like you just saw, doesn't mean he's going to go 50 yards for the touchdown. And I have to just sling that one and hope he can get to it. That about Kyler? Come on, Kyler. Andy! That was our best chance. There was no one else there. Tyron Matthew was there. That was the only person there on this entire Saints team. Put Andy on the side here. He's got one-on-one -on -one with Lattimore. You could probably give Andy Lee 200 attempts against Lattimore in real life. He would never catch one pass. But we're hoping for a little bit of luck here in Madden. Let's give him one ball. Give him one lucky thing. Let it bounce off Lattimore's hand on a swat. Land in his hand. Let him run for it. Just protect him. Let there be like a cover two. Broken coverage. One-on-one. -on -one. Nope. I actually have to think I have to let Lattimore hit it off him. And then I got to get ready for the football. Like, I got to try to catch it off their rebound. That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do that a couple times. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's let Lattimore just swat it. Andy Lee actually somehow got a hand on it. So because this is actually impossible with a 12 overall punter, instead, 
I'm stacking out his stats. 99 speed, excel, agility, route running for deep route running is gonna be 99. His catching is gonna be 99. We are getting this touchdown. For my own sanity, this had to be done. There was 0% chance he was ever scoring on Lattimore the way he was. But now, look at Andy Lee. <laughs> Look at him now, though. He just flew down the field. Now, this is what we're talking about. We love a punter that can get downfield. Look at Andy Lee. Go, Andy Lee. Go up there. Good try. Watch him cook, Lattimore. See you later. Oh, my. Marshawn Lattimore is absurdly good. But it doesn't matter. Andy. I truthfully have no idea what to do anymore. Just please, Andy. Finally. Oh, my. I never am ever playing Marshawn Lattimore again. If I play online and someone's using the Saints, I am quitting immediately. I am quitting immediately. Marshawn Lattimore just took five years off my life. It took a 99 speed, catching, route running, excel, agility, everything 99 to even get one catch on this guy. That was absolutely brutal. The hardest touch that I've scored so far in this entire series. Can we get an easy one to follow it up? I think Sam Darnold wears 14 for the Panthers. It is, in fact, Sam Darnold. Why are we not getting any good players here today? Amon Ross St. Brown, Chris Godwin. We do have Stephon Diggs coming up next or as the last touchdown of this episode. But it's kind of crazy. We haven't got any of these great receivers so far. So Darnold is a 70 overall. We do have DJ Moore to throw the ball to. So I don't think this should be too tough. DJ Moore is really, really good. What is Sam Darnold's throw power looking like? 88 with 79D. I desperately need an easy touchdown after what we just witnessed against Marshawn Lattimore. Please, DJ Moore. Please, DJ Moore. Thank you, DJ Moore. What a dot by Sam Darnold. Thank you very much. First attempt. And as I always do, if we get on one of the first attempts, let me just show you guys really quickly. We are on all Madden. That is all Madden right there. A 40 yard dot by Sam Darnold caught by DJ Moore. Let's see, maybe Sam Darnold can make the playoffs with this Panthers team, which is pretty crazy to say. What are they, 5-8 and eight right now? One game out behind the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? You never know. But two safeties back. DJ Moore just right in between them. Had a guy on him following him as well. Put it right on the money. Good throw by Darnold. We need one more touchdown here before we get into our final touchdown of day number 14 with Stephon Diggs. What are we going to get? Are we going to get the Saints or Steelers? The Saints are going to be Andy Dalton. And how far are we going with Andy Dalton and the New Orleans Saints? 38 yards should be easy. Andy Dalton is a 73 overall. And let's check out the throw power and the accuracy stats. 83 medium and deep accuracy with 87 throw power. We got the ball at the 38. Here we go. Let's see what kind of touchdown we can get here. I mean, Jarvis Landry looks wide open. If he has enough speed, he's there, Jarvis Landry. If that's Chris Olave, he's in the end zone because Olave has like 93 speed. Sadly, Dalton couldn't put it on Jarvis Landry right there. That gets absolutely drilled. Absolutely drilled. Got hit hard right there. Looking for Trey Clone Smith. High pass, but Minka's on that one. That's a tough one-on-one -on -one to win. I should go ahead and put Olave where Jarvis Landry is right now, but maybe we can get a pass Minka. There's not enough velo on that football right there from Dalton. He's not going to get that pass Minka. Let's send Olave on a streak here. Oh, yeah. Olave's going to get this done. Chris Olave... Chris Olave over a minute here. An easy touchdown for Andy Dalton. Two easy ones back to back, which we needed, like I said, after Andy Lee. I knew Olave had the speed though. One on one, you're not staying with Chris Olave. Especially with a bunch formation to the right. Everybody's getting tangled up right there. Then he gets open one on one, has a couple steps and then catches out for the touchdown. And obviously we know for our final touchdown of the day, I've said it so many times already. We have Stefan Diggs. How far of a touchdown is he going to need? A 50-yard touchdown should be pretty simple with Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen. Just want to give a quick reminder to everybody who did not see the giveaway announcement. I am giving away a brand new Xbox Series S. Make sure to go check out my giveaway video to find out how to enter. Let's end off episode number 14 with a bang with Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen. We got a post route over the top here with McKenzie next to him on a smart route. Let's see if Diggs can get it done one of the first attempts right here. We do have to get out of the pocket, though. But Josh Allen could do that and deliver a good football on the run. Just threw it into double coverage, though. I can't believe the players we got in episode 14, too. I was thinking we're going to use Godwin, Amon Ross St. Brown, obviously Stephon Diggs. But no, we use Nathan Peterman, Andy Lee, Sam Darnold, Andy Dalton. Crazy turn of events. Oh, that was almost a good block by James Cook right there. Pressure's coming in hot, actually, from this Cardinals team. No matter what team you're using, it takes a little bit of time to get these routes open over the top. We need protection. Come on. Snap the ball, Josh. Thank you. 
I think this is gonna get open this time. I mean, how could it not? We had him if I just had some time. Fumble. Pass blocking so bad in practice mode. We have seven guys blocking right now. Seven guys. Finally got something there. High ball pass to Diggs. Stephon Diggs, the catch, the touchdown. Nobody better than Stephon Diggs. Maybe besides Justin Jefferson, because Jefferson's on my fantasy team. But other than that, Devontae's really good, obviously. D-Hop, Cooper Cup, and he's healthy, Jamar Chase. But Diggs definitely has a case for the best wide receiver in the entire league. But let's take a look at that replay. A little over a minute for that touchdown. Finally had some time in the pocket. Had to move out of it just a little bit. And Josh Allen's just too good. High ball the right there. And that's Diggs just going up and mossing him right there. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. But I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.